He's back. Actor Alec Baldwin facing criminal charges tonight in connection to the deadly shooting on the movie set of his film Rust. He's accused of pointing a gun at cinematographer Helena Hutchins during a rehearsal and firing it. Yeah, the revolver went off killing her. And today, prosecutors charged Baldwin and a weapons specialist from Arizona with involuntary manslaughter for the fatal shooting. So what do these charges mean for Baldwin and armorer Hannah Gutierrez-Reed? We check in with Lindsay Regis, who joins us now in the studio, live with that answer. Lindsay. A local criminal defense attorney says this is going to be a lengthy trial. In New Mexico, involuntary manslaughter in this particular situation is a person who committed a lawful act but in a careless manner, which causes another person's death. In New Mexico, this is a fourth degree felony, and the maximum penalty under the law is 18 months in prison and a $5,000 fine. However, it's possible they can reach a plea agreement on a misdemeanor. Criminal defense attorney Russ Richelsoff says first, Alec Baldwin. Baldwin will be summoned to court. He'll have to appear and enter a plea of not guilty, which is standard in a felony case. After that, the discovery process will begin. Rachel Soft says the case is going to hinge on something called criminal negligence. Criminal negligence means did Alec Baldwin have a duty to do something that he failed to do and then that resulted in a person's death. So the question is going to be do actors have a responsibility when when somebody hands them, you know, they're making a movie and somebody hands them a firearm, does the actor have a responsibility to check that firearm and make sure it's safe? That's really going to be the big issue in this case with regards to Alec Baldwin. We are told the criminal liability for the weapons specialist from Arizona is a little more clear cut than it is for Alec Baldwin. That's because Reed was hired to have the responsibility to safe keep the firearms and make sure live ammunition doesn't get mixed in with blank ammunition. Reporting live in studio, Lindsay Regis, Fox 10 News. Lindsay,